going to show you from start to finish how to make your own stencils and spray paint your own art. And the only thing you need to know before we start is my boards that I'm going to use for this stuff. Uh, I already painted black and sprinkled stars on. You just spray some paint on your finger and flick it and it makes stars. I'll show you how I screw up and how you can fix the stuff that you do wrong. And then I'll also show you how to do something more complicated after the first project. You can do anything you want for this but draw it out physically or draw it out on the computer or find a picture that you like. If you want to do something big, use Microsoft Paint to print it out. Just put it in there at the size that you want and then print it at full size. It'll print out on multiple pages, can tape them all together and cut out your stencil and start your project. This is the fun part. Use some of the scraps that you have from trimming this out and spray some blood looking paint on your hand with a glove on and then smear it and practice and see what it takes to make it look like it did in the movie. Anyway, I'm using uh, Colonial Red. I think this looks a lot like blood. This is the wonderful thing about this, you can just paint over it and do it again. My fixing is dry and I didn't like the way that looked that much, so I'm going to try putting it on a rag and doing it this time. Much better. I'm using coins to weight it down this time because when I just misted the black on, it was flying all over the place. If you have the same problem, do the same thing. Or get something to make a heavier stencil out of. Or if your paper's flying all over the place like mine was, you can just get the paper wet if you plan on just making one of these and not making any more. But I like to save my stencils because they take a lot of work to make. Use your scrap paper to mask off to paint the mic silver. So you saw me do this solid black and I didn't like that so I misted white paint back over it to make it look the way I wanted it to. Which I didn't know this was the way I wanted it to look, but I like the way that it looks now. Just goes to show you that you can change whatever your plan was for what you're going to do to make it into something that you're going to like if you don't like the way it turns out in the first place. So now let me show you something big that you can do if you decide to get crazy with your stencils and do something a lot more complicated. Moment of truth. Ta-da. All right, this one's really big and it's basically done, but I really don't like the way the X-Wing looks because it's a different color than the other two and I ran out of the paint for them so I'm gonna go get the paint and I'm gonna fix that and then we'll see what it looks like. I like that so much better now that it's the same color as the other ones and it's all monochromatic and artsy looking. Uh, if you enjoyed this video you should share it with people that way they can enjoy it too and go spray paint some stuff. It's a lot of fun. It really is. And you can make some really cool looking stuff like this and like this. Yeah. That one, right there. I almost forgot, if you have something that you want me to try to do, leave the idea down in the comments and I'll try to do it in a future video if I can figure out how to make it look cool. Yep.